Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of The Growl with Haley and Ishan. As you know, my name is Ishan. And I'm Haley. This video series has been set up to provide entertaining content during this crazy time that we're going through, as well as keep you guys up to date with all of the information that you need to stay on track with your school. So each episode is going to include a special guest, a joke of the week, and a good news story just to kind of lighten everyone's spirits. And we hope that you look forward to each and every episode that's going to be coming out on a weekly basis. Um, we will also be updating you guys on events and dates that you need so that you don't miss out on anything that you guys could possibly need. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Haley, for this amazing introduction of how the show, you know, will look like. So guys, in today's episode, we will be including Asia O'Connor, who is the first peer experience advisor. So, you know, let's jump into the interview. Okay, hello, and thank you so much for joining us today. I know that your schedule is extremely busy, so we're very glad to have you here. Um, if you want, we can start out with you just um, introducing yourself and kind of your role at the college. Sure. Uh, so my name is Asia O'Connor. I am the first year experience and transition officer at the Barry campus. And usually that title does not mean much to new students and that's totally okay. So my role really covers um, the orientation programming and helping collaborate and, and work with my team to put orientation programming together, as well as um, managing and overseeing the peer mentor program. Uh, so those are my two responsibilities at Georgian and they're really, really fun. Nice. Sounds very busy for sure. Um, can you tell anyone watching today about the new student programs that are coming up um, at the college? Sure. So there are a couple of big things coming up. Uh, the first one would definitely be all of our orientation programming. Uh, so the first uh, kind of chunk of programming that is coming up is titled our Head Start programming. Um, and this is all of our pre-orientation events that are taking place. So this fall, it's looking a little different because we're all virtual. And so everything will be housed or hosted online. Um, and it's a full two week schedule. So um, we're offering a couple of short sessions between 30 minutes to 60 minutes uh, that students can come on in and participate in each day. There'll be a couple offered a day, knowing that there's a lot of information to digest and students will have an opportunity to interact with various campus um, service areas and supports to get to know um, how we best support students online in this virtual environment and students know what the college has to offer. So that's our Head Start programming. And then orientation day is actually on September the 14th. Um, so that very first day of school is our orientation day. The day is dedicated for all new students to attend their orientation. Um, and so upper year students will, will start class regularly, but on the 14th, new students will attend all of their orientation schedule. Um, and we have some really great highlights in there. Uh, we have a keynote coming in to welcome you. Uh, we also have your program breakout sessions, which will be an opportunity for you to learn about your academic programming and what to expect uh, for your program specific information. Uh, we have some drop ins going on um, and also we have campus specific sessions you can participate in. So because we're virtual, we're doing a full Georgian wide orientation experience, which is really exciting. But on orientation day, you'll actually be able to um, see some folks from your specific campuses and get to meet some key stakeholders there as well. The last program I'll talk about is our peer mentor program. So our peer mentor program is really gearing up for the fall semester. Um, and what it is, is it's upper year students who are trained uh, to be a, a great resource for new students, um, to have someone meet with them each week, check in with them, see how they're doing, provide college uh, resources that students can access, and also just open up an opportunity for uh, new students to meet other new students. So if you're interested in this, um, I highly encourage you um, to apply to the program as a mentee uh, and we'll match you with a peer mentor and it's a really great opportunity to meet other folks. Awesome. So many exciting things coming up. You guys do not want to miss out for sure. Um, so if any students have any more questions, can you um, let them know how they can get some more information about all this? Yeah, for sure. There's lots of places to access information. So if it's just question based, um, we have uh, two general email accounts. So if it's anything to do with orientation, feel free to email orientation at georgiancollege.ca. Or if it's anything to do with the peer mentor uh, program, you can email uh, peer mentors at georgiancollege.ca. Um, so that's just, you know, if you want, if you want some clarifying questions, feel free to email that. We monitor that each day. 
Um, in terms of reading more and just accessing more information, you can find both of these programs on the student portal. Um, so I highly encourage you to check that out. It's also on our Georgian College webpage. So if you go to georgiancollege.ca backslash orientation, it'll bring you right to our webpage that has all the information on both orientation and peer mentors. Um, as well as we have just sent an email out to all new students uh, introducing both the peer mentor program as well as the orientation schedule. Um, so if you check your uh, Georgian email, your student Georgian email, you should have information all about where to find this information and directing you to the links appropriate uh, to find it. So there's lots of ways to access it. You just need to check your email, go explore on our web page or um, check it out on our student portal page. Awesome. Perfect. Well, that was very informative. Thank you for all of the information that you provided. And that was nice and short and sweet. But thank you so much for joining us um, in your busy day. And um, I'm sure that we will hear from you very soon. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. Bye, everyone. Oh, this was an amazing interview. Thanks, Asia, for being a part of it. And thank you, Haley, for connecting it. Of course, it's my pleasure. And now we're going to move on to the joke of the week, which is going to be brought to you by Trina. Hey everyone, my name is Trina. I'm a Georgian College student and I'm going to give you your joke of the week. Um, the joke is, what is the best type of joke to tell in quarantine? An inside joke. Haha, <laughs> ba Thank you so much, Trina, for the joke. We really appreciate you joining us here on the show. Cool. So guys, now let's jump quickly into the good news by one of our Georgian students. So welcome, Emmy, to the first episode of Growl with Haley and Ishan. Why did you just introduce yourself to the Georgian students? Hello, Sean. Thank you for having me here. I'm so happy to be here. And um, I'm a first year student getting in my second year and I'm into the interactive media design web program. So, Emmy, why don't you share your good news story with the Georgia students? My good news is that I just finished my iCoop and iCoop stands for Innovation Coop. I was very lucky to be able to do my co-op with Georgian College and it's a new uh, it's a new it's a new idea that came uh, since COVID came and Georgian really wanted to help the students. So they put in place this uh, I co-op innovation co-op uh, with uh, the change makers, Henry Bernick uh, Center and research and innovation. What was nice about it is that you can have experience. They have um, a list and a plethora of um, people who work with them. And I was also able to do my I co-op remotely. So I got like the best of both worlds with Georgian, with making connection with other people and yeah, being able to do it remotely despite of COVID. That is, that is so nice, Emmy. So what was your best, you know, best experience doing your I co-op? I guess my best experience is kind of a learning outcome because um, what people did not know is that I was uh, working with a company and I was not accepted because of COVID and I was like, what do I do now? And I turned to the college who helped me and they said like, there's this new concept of Innovation Corp, why don't you apply? And I did. And I got rejected. <laughs> so, oh, no. <laughs> then, yeah. so, so, so then I went to the, like I got help from the career center. So they help you with your resume and your cover letter. I was like, it's not the deadline yet. So I, started my COVID letter all over again from scratch, like all over again. I applied and I got it. So I was, it was like um, a learning outcome for me and it helped me uh, get out of my comfort zone. And also Georgian has lots of support for us, but we need to use it as well. So yeah. That is so good. And I'm so glad you just completed your I co-op. And thank you so very much for being part of this video. Thank you very much as well for having me. Bye-bye. So thank you everyone for being part of the first episode of The Growl with Haley and Ishan. If you're wanting to be part of these videos, including, you know, the good news stories, if you want to be a part of the joke of the week, then please reach out to your respective GCSAs and we are looking forward to you know, having our videos. Thank you.